Well, for me, I I guess I've not spent so much time on clay in the past few years. So for me, it was um, interesting at the beginning, but I think I learned pretty quickly and starting to feel a lot better on the surface. I think in the future, it's going to be a surface that will actually really suit me. I think I'm maybe a little bit away from that right now, but I'm enjoying it and I'm enjoying the challenge of it. And uh, I think it's great that we can be in this position playing the French who are so dominant and uh, coming on clay. I definitely think we're the underdogs, but we have a lot a lot of game and uh, we're ready to, to play this weekend. Same question. Yeah, for me, um, as my record has shown, I haven't played that much on clay. Uh, but, you know, it's something exciting. It's something fresh for me. And, you know, I've got nothing to lose ultimately. Uh, I think I've worked a lot in the past during practice, but not necessarily matches on clay. And I feel like it's something that I can always get better at. But again, it, it means I have a free swing and uh, really looking forward to this weekend as the underdog. Hi everyone. Um, just to, to Katie, I'm curious why, why has um, clay kind of evaded you uh, in your career um, for now, and yeah, what, what what is the challenge of kind of replicating you know all the great things you've done on other surfaces on clay? Yeah, I mean, I I don't have anything against clay, but I in the past the timing hasn't quite been right. I've um, I had my back when it was the clay court season. I had my foot when it was the clay court season. The timing just hasn't quite worked. So I think for me, I've tried to keep things very simple and not change surfaces too much due to the risk of injury, which in the past has been an issue for me. So uh, to negate that, I've tried very hard to stay off it. Um, but again, I've I've been playing these this past week and been loving every minute of it. And uh, my body feels probably very, very good and I've got no issues at all. So yeah, I think it's a challenge and uh, I'm looking forward to every minute. Question for the captain, because two players just... For the Me. captain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be Heather one day, but at the moment it's <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Not to rush things. Uh, two players saying that you are the underdogs. Do you, do you feel this way? Is it just yeah, for real? Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, we're, we're here on uh, French turf. Um, you know, the French have the home support. They have the experience in this team. They've had a lot of success in this competition. Um, but, you know, I'm confident and I back my players. This is a big challenge for us and... We are the underdogs. We played the French team 12 months ago, and uh, you know the result of that. But it's a great opportunity. Um, we've prepared as well as we could have. Um, and yeah, look, I, I'm looking forward to the matches tomorrow. I think um, our players can go out there. They're ready to give their best, and um, let's see. Absolutely. Did anyone think anything else? <laughs> Um, to, to Emma, I'm just curious um, how your back is feeling now um, compared to in Miami and what's kind of the, the last few weeks been like, I guess, of, of training. And I guess the second question to both you and, and Katie, this is the first, I guess, clay event of an extended um, clay season with the Olympics as well. Just curious if that's at all a, a priority for you to, I don't know, to, to get, be there and to be in best shape as possible to play there. Yeah, I think I came back from Miami and I went straight back into training. I was training really well, actually. I got two good weeks in on clay and um, yeah, I think I was feeling pretty good. And now I'm, I'm looking forward to the clay season. As I said, I'm looking forward to the challenge of it. I'm looking forward to sliding. I love moving on this surface. So that's one thing that I enjoy for sure. Um, and then as to Olympics, it's not really in my control. I mean, I know that playing this tie gives me eligibility, but I mean, it depends on so many factors that are outside of my control with rankings and wild cards or whatever. So um, I, I don't know on that yet. Uh, yeah, uh, Olympics has always been something I wanted to play as a kid and to be a part of. Uh, so for me, that is definitely a priority. I'll be playing if I can. 
And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Being part of something which isn't completely tennis and learning from different athletes, I think is um, an experience I won't forget. So yeah, it's definitely priority. Um, to, to, to Fran, um, I'm, I'm curious, just how does it feel to be back on the team and, and also how pleased have you been with obviously your recent results, um, particularly on clay as well? Um, yeah. And over. <laughs> She's been desperate to talk. <laughs> um, well, firstly, yeah, very happy to be on the team, of course. I mean, I was on the junior team. It's my first time on the professional team. So, um, no, i um, ecstatic to be here, really. And uh, hopefully uh, we can we can get stuff done. But I think, you know, it's always going to be an honour to represent your country in whatever shape or form, really. Um, in terms of recent results, like, for me, it's just a result being on a tennis court right now. And that's my sole focus, trying to build some cumulative load over over the season so um yeah my focus is very much on the day-to-day -day, week by week in getting through this year and then i'll think about bigger picture at another point thanks um a question to, to heather um you've been on many um pity drinking cup teams and I, I know you guys tend to like off the court you i don't know have fun and do different activities i guess what's it been like being the the more experienced player on the team and what have you guys been doing to just like enjoy your, your company together cool. yeah um firstly i love representing my country and every opportunity i get i grab it with both hands um so i'm really pleased to be a part of this team um and yeah we've we're having a great time there's a lot of um <laughs> we've got our own personal comedian over here fran jones <laughs> Um, yeah, everyone's getting on well. We've been busy mostly just training and, and preparing for the tie. Um, but yeah, we, we always have a good time together. Thanks for asking me a question. <laughs> um, a quick question to Anne. Um, with, um, obviously, there aren't many clay courts in, in Great Britain, and it seems like um, for top pro players, they have to kind of learn... At, at the top, it was even the same with like Murray. I'm curious, is that something that if if you you know um, develop in Great Britain, is that something that is just a given, or or do you think it's possible to gain clay clay experience while you know growing as a tennis player in Great Britain? Yeah, look, I th I think it is possible for for players to learn uh, to learn to love playing on clay. Um, yes, obviously our climate makes it challenging, but. The players have been preparing uh, on the indoor clay courts at the National Tennis Centre. Um, the clay court that they've put together here at the arena has been, um, you know, fantastic. So it, it does show what is possible. Um, but, you know, look, you remember Joe Conta's run at uh, the French Open and obviously Andy. It is possible. And I think what's important for the players is that they remember their identity as a tennis player. And um, of course, the surface is challenging, but they're still looking to impose their games. And, um, you know, it's a mindset. And if you look at a lot of the big tournaments now, you know, the clay's, the clay's pretty quick. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I'm sure it's a surface everyone learns to love eventually. Or immediately. Or immediately, if you're Fran Jones. <laughs> Harriet? Uh, you, you, you've tried the clay here. Uh, how, what do you feel? Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel comfortable, uh, the surrounding, the arena? Yeah, the arena is really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, we've practiced quite a lot this week, so that's been good, and we're prepared as, as much as possible. And, um, yeah, we're excited to get the, the tie to, to eventually start. <laughs> 